In this video, I'm going to show you how to install CCX Script Editor and write your first script. So just go to the default login page when you go to your UCCX server on the web and um, go to Tools and Plugins. And you will see Cisco Unified CCX Editor Installer for Windows. So you just click that and it will start downloading. Um, I already have it downloaded and installed on my computer, but that's the download process. And once this uh, once this finishes, you can show in folder. And then double click it to get started. And I just uninstalled it so I can show you the process, but it's it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to double click it, click yes, and it is going to start installing. This might give me problems because I'm not sure everything was removed when I uninstalled it, but um, let's just give it a try. This looks like a promising start. Next, and this might not be empty. Next, next, it's installing, and maybe I am in luck. Um, uh, this might take a minute, so I'm just going to put this on pause. Okay, that finished, um, and I'm not going to restart. I don't think I need to do that, so I'm just going to click no, and then done. Okay, and then I'm going to look for CCX on my computer, and I think I might have to run it as administrator, and let's see if that opens up. And it did. So, what we have to do is we have to log in with the normal account you would use to log into the web page, use those credentials, and then you need to put in the IP address of your CCX server, and click sign in. And then it takes a minute for it to log in, and once it's logged in, we will start making our first script. Okay, it launched. So I am going to make it full screen, and I'm going to make our first script. So I'm going to do file, new, blank script. And the script that I want to make is something real simple. I just want a call to come in. I want it to accept the call, and then I want it to deliver it to an agent of our particular queue. So if I expand contact, um, I will see accept right there and then I want to deliver it to a queue and those settings are going to be under ACD and we want it to be select resource okay so now for it to be able to select a resource we need a contact and we also need to know which CSQ not a contact a user sorry uh, we need a user and we need a CSQ so I'm going to create a couple variables for those resources. First one I'm going to make is call is a user. So I typed it, but you can click this drop down and select it. Um, and then I'm going to name it agent, and I can keep that in all. And that's it for agent. And then we are also going to need a CSQ ID. So I'm going to click new variable again, that arrow right there. And um, this is going to be a string variable. And then I'm going to name this one our CSQ ID. So if I go into back into call manager, let me log in. Not call manager, UCCX rather. And I go into subsystem, RMCM, contact service queues. I can see that the queue we created in an earlier video is called standard. So that is what I want to name that variable because that's a queue that I want it to be delivered to. So string capitalization is important standard actually no sorry I did not want to do that I want to name this uh, CSQ ID and then the value needs to be a standard okay so the type the name and the value so I'm gonna click OK and then we can right click properties here and then I'm going to leave that, triggering contact, routing target type, contact service queue, and then I'm going to choose a CSQ target, and that's the variable we created, that string variable, connect, I'm actually going to change this to no, timeout is 10, um, and then the resource selected is agent, and then I click apply, and OK. So now it's going to select that resource, and then I need to actually connect. So selected, properties once again, triggering contact, agent, timeout, 10, apply, okay. 
Okay, so now we have the connected and the failed. So if it's connected, what do we want it to do? We actually want it to go to end. So we are going to put in a go to there, and then we need a label down by end. Okay, and then I'm going to right click this go to label. And I'm going to copy that label and paste it right there. So um, I think that's all we need for now. And then for queued, I guess we could just put the call on hold. And later I'll show you how to put in some hold music. So I'll just go to call contact, call, hold. Um, and I think that is it. That should deliver it. So. Um, one thing that I want to make sure to do is go up to, to Tools and Validate. If this um, throws any kind of errors, then it's, it's not going to work. Um, you'll get a voice that says, oh, we are experiencing system difficulties, and it will disconnect. So I'm now going to try to save this into the repository. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to save this in my local machine. I'm going to save as. I'm going to put this as <coughs> standard.aef, and I'm just going to save this on my desktop for now. And then I am going to go to CCX. Um, and I'm going to log in again. And I'm going to go to <coughs> Subsystems, RMCM, and we want to go to, uh, actually, Applications script management and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this one standard return script management then I'm going to go into that folder and that will help you keep your applications and scripts in nice a tidy folder so I'm going to find that on my desktop now <coughs> the script itself so I'm inside the standard folder now I'm going to upload the standard script so I'm going to upload that and return to script management. So that is it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to actually create an application, load that script into it, and I'm gonna make a test call and uh, watch that call come in, hopefully. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it.